Well, hello everybody, welcome to uh, Tom's Man Cave up here in Wigan. Well, today we've got the arrival of the Pipes Wager. Now, the Pipes Wager was brought to our attention by a good old Sir Richard Puller of Glasgow. Uh, you get these from China, I think, with the uh, with the import tax and everything else clothing, they're about £11, 11 pound or just above £11. Pound. And they're the handy thing to have in your, your toolbox or your tool bag because you always come to a situation where you've, um, you need a, a coupling and you've not got one, well this will get you out of the mire. But does it work? That's what we want to find out now. We're going to test it. We're going to point through its paces as they say. Stand by. Piece of 10mm, which uh, obviously going to be the easiest. Now with any swaging tool or expanding tool, uh, this, has got, this has been cut by a cutter, a pipe cutter, which is no good because it needs to be a, a flush, it needs to be straight. You know, uh, if you use a cutter, it's always going to give that edge, a, uh, a beveled edge, a starting edge, which is good for uh, plastic, for going into, into plastic, but it's no good for swaging. So we're going to saw the end off. I think I could do a new blade in this video actually. Which is a sign of the times. Uh, I remember the day when everybody's axle kept a good blade in it because he was using it 99% of the time. Until the birth of the pipe cutter. Right, there we go. Let's have a see how that fits in there now. There you go. Phone's going. Back in a sec. Right, wheels me. Now then. So that 10 mil goes in there easily. And the idea is to squash it, turn it, 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 squash it, turn it. And pretty soon. You've got it opened up. Pretty soon you've got it so that the 10 milli pipe will go inside it. Oh, we well, haven't yet. We'll give it a bit more. So then, we've got that now fully open, and that will take 10 milli, just like that. So, well if you work out 10 milli couplings, uh, I know they're expensive for, the, for what they are. Um, a 15 milli coupling is not so much. A 22 milli coupling is good value, but a 10 milli coupling, I think they're expensive. And it's, it's to do with the manufacturer, right, which is fair enough, but it took us just a couple of minutes to manufacture our own socket on that. So there instantly is a saving straight away. But we're not stopping at that because next we're going to go to the 15mm uh, size and see how long it takes us through one of those. On to the next step is 15mm. So there's your 15mm pipe and I've done the same thing there by sawing the end so that it, this will fit in easily and we go down to the 15mm size which is that one and I keep going off out of camera shot here don't I and that is a bit tough to get on to be honest so we'll give it a couple of squeezes it soon opens out. It's 
quite easy as well. I'm using the bench to push against. There's no real strength involved. And it's forming nice and quick. You need to understand that you're going around slowly because if I show you the action of that's just causing a V type of thing, you know. So if you just did that, you're only opening out a small amount, so you've got to turn it as you as you squeeze. And this is causing the socket to form. And I'm quite impressed really with the uh, 15 milli. That seems to be going quite well. I'll give it a try now with a bit of scrap. Yeah. So that's perfect. Perfect. So it's got all sorts of different sizes on here. I would have guessed 8 milli, 12 milli. But your two main ones are of course 15 milli and 22 milli. Uh, those are the ones that you're going to use mostly. So the next one we're going to try now is a 22 milli one. I'm going to do it two. First of all, I'm going to try one as it is, and secondly, I'm going to anneal one to try it how easy that is. Back in a sec. So then here we're coming to the 22 milli size, and I've already been pre-warned from our a friend in Glasgow that it's quite hard to do the 22 milli size. Now there's no sizes given on these particular steps but this one I'm guessing is 22 because that seems so hard to win but the other side slides in easily so I'm guessing that that is three quarters so I think if we just expand it a little bit first with that get it started Again, it's quite easy. There's no, I'm not, it's not causing me any effort to do this. And that's going quite easily. So we'll try on the the iron now, which I suspect is the 22 size. Yeah. Keep working it in and twisting it round. And it's definitely going, you can feel it moving. So I would just going off these three sizes that we've done now, I definitely think it's worth the uh, 11 pound whatever it was call it 12 pound it's still worth 12 pound because you don't get a lot of sockets for 12 pounds you know, no. that's going very nicely indeed and this isn't the annealed copper I want to try the annealed copper on 22 let's just have a look at that We're going somewhere near now. We're going somewhere near on that. Twist and turn, twist and turn. It's good exercise for your for your arm this because it's making me a wrist really tired. Although I am suffering at the moment with hand problems, so it might be a, a good idea to play with this all day. Not 
want any smutty remarks either. They don't know you plumbers. They'll be thinking other things. Have a look at that. Right, well it's going now that. Almost there. So inside a few moments, oh, I'm on the wrong side. So of course you can see with that it's a good another good thing with these is what you'll see the advantage of is if you come across the old three-quarter pipe. You won't need to go rushing off buying a three quarter for 22 milli adapter. You make one. Yeah. We're not quite there yet, but we're getting there. So let's just try. Now the annealed piece of 22 milli copy which I've got the side now to anneal to anneal 22 milli copper or any other size of copper you need to get your blow lamp and heat the part that you want to anneal in about that far to cherry red and then just let it cool down and that's annealed. I've got one here ready. To achieve the annealing of the copper I've used this blow lamp which is a very good blow lamp that I've bought from China as well and I'm not here by the way to sell China products it's just that these, these items have been brought to my attention on our forum which are, is called tomplum.boz.net and if you go over there you'll see links to all these products and I'm not connected to them at all I'm just passing on what I think is a good buy and that is a good buy because if you buy a rough a Rothwell torch well, not Rothenberg's torch or if you buy a Rothenberg torch it's gonna knock you back upwards of fifty quid whereas that was eighteen pounds and some pence. Good value. So anyway, that's how we annealed it with that torch. Okay now this is our piece of annealed copper. And just to reiterate, uh, all I've done is warm this up with the lamp till it was cherry red and then just allow it to cool down and in this weather it doesn't take very long at all um, I'll, I'll put it on the easy end first start to wind it out I think this is the three quarter size and it's going much easier you can see it forming you can see that shoulder forming quite rapidly we'll take it up now to the 22 size and it's just flirted into that without any bother at all You can see that's going much easier now because it's annealed. Oh, you got me. You can't see that, can you? And this is, a, there's no uh, trickery on my videos, as you know, there's no time lapse. This is happening as you see it in real time. No machinery. No smoke, no mirrors. I'm not timing this, but if anybody wants to time it to see how long it's going to take to form this 22 mm socket so 
Let me clarify that right off. Still needs a bit more. So as you can see, 22 mm is quite it's quite a challenging thing to do. It's probably in a situation where time is of the essence, you're better off buying a socket, throwing a socket on. But then again, if it's late at night and the nearest place is 10 minutes drive, as you know in, the, in this country a 10 minute drive is very often 20 minutes, then you have to get served, which is might be another 20 minutes, and then another 20 minutes back to where you come from, time goes on, doesn't it? So a little device like this will pay for itself in no time. There we can see that um, 10 milli and 15 milli is a breeze. 22 milli is a bit more challenging, but it's getting there. The other drawback, of course, with um, annealing is that you'll need to clean that out with a bit of sandpaper or whatever. There, yeah, there's your socket. That will solder up now. Of course, like I've just said, that will need that will need uh, emmering out or brushing out. But there's your socket formed in a very short time. Right. So that's the Chinese socket maker. I'm very impressed. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a socket former for around about the 12 quid mark. It will take about a month to come, uh, but it's definitely well worth uh, space in your toolbox or your tool bag. And um, we owe that. It's another, it's another find by Sir Richard Puller of Glasgow. He brought that to our attention. And if you want to see any more tips like this uh, on buying stuff, when you come to the forum, which is up here, look on the links board. There's all sorts of shit up there. See you all again sometime.